Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, WH6AV here, Jesse Alper. Um, 9.07 in the morning, Hawaii time. Uh, I'm doing a video on uh, a f well, not a fix, but uh, a solution to those of you who's uh, running VMware, trying to uh, get the MD380 tools um, to uh, flash the firmware or, and or the uh, database into your MD380 390 radio. Um, some of you folks uh, tried it and uh, were successful, and uh, others were not. Um, basically, uh, when trying to install the firmware or the update uh, database, uh, you get a device uh, not found error. So, I'll show you what the fix is. Um, in the uh, Windows operating system, uh, you will notice that. Um, you will see under the device manager in the uh, USB serial devices or the uh, USB uh, controllers that you have STM device in DFU mode. That's that's for the Windows operating system. Okay, so the Windows operating system is seeing the device. What you what you want to do is have the uh, guest operating system in this case um, ultimate edition uh, is actually running um, here on the uh, VMware workstation if you look on the top um, you'll see uh, this area right here this um, this uh, pull-up menu uh, says show devices uh, will bring up all the uh, devices that you have connected and disconnected so one of the devices is called STM ST microelectronics patch MD380 it is disconnected so uh, what you need to do is it's grayed out uh, so what you need to do is right click on it and say connect disconnect from the host so you want to connect it to this uh, guest host and it tells you USB is about to be unplugged from the host connected to this virtual machine so just go ahead and click on OK now this is not grayed out it's showing as enabled so that's all you have to do so uh, I'll go ahead and disconnect it from this one and uh, run it on the one that you folks are using yeah. see that if you don't see this uh, pull up um, USB devices just uh, go here click on this arrow it will uh, extend it out and just go to this right here and right click on it and just click on connect just say OK. Now when you uh, run the, uh, the menu, all you have to do is just go to this radio. And all you need to do is just uh, do whatever you need to install the, um, the firmware or update the uh, database in this case I'll just update the database Dino is working so uh, it's not going to error out I'm just going to show as a completed and then take you right back to the menu um, otherwise it if it's not enabled up here if it's grayed out you're gonna get the error device not found so make sure it's enabled connected to this hose so we found it and erase the uh, memory allocation area um, and then it'll flash the uh, database so wait for this to be done but uh, that's how you take care of it uh, if you run into the M, uh, device not found error. Okay? So, 
Any other questions, uh, feel free to uh, message me on Facebook or leave a comment. And then, uh, and so I have a great time uh, on DMR. This can uh, also work for uh, MD380, 390. Uh, just to make a note, MD380 radios, uh, if you only have one megabyte of um, uh, the SPI flash, it will show up one megabyte right here and not 16. So remember, VHF uh, MD380 radios only has one megabyte. So if you got 16 megabytes, uh, you're able to put the database on there. Alright then, have a nice day. Take care guys, WH6AV signing off.